Hello, my name is Tamara, and I will guide you through an introduction to Pixel Spreadsheet. Pixel Spreadsheet lets you turn a picture into numbers in a spreadsheet. You can use it for photo editing, or you can use it as a microscope into the pixels in a picture. Using Pixel Spreadsheet, you can manipulate individual pixels in a spreadsheet. If you have downloaded the program already, you can follow along with me. If not, you can go to mediacomputation.org and get the program there. This is the Pixel Spreadsheet interface. On the left hand side, there are the Load and Save Image buttons. Use the Load Image button first to grab a picture from your disk. The image you want to use is going to show up on the right above the buttons. What you need to do now is get the image's information to spreadsheet form. Images are an arranged collection of pixels. Pixels are the most basic unit of an image. Each pixel is made up of three elements, red, green, and blue. Each pixel is at a particular horizontal and vertical position, or x and y coordinates. When we press the button to convert an image to spreadsheet, the program gathers information about each individual pixel and displays its location in the RGB values. Press the image to spreadsheet button here. To open the spreadsheet, save it. It will save as a CSV file that you can open in any spreadsheet program. We will open the CSV file in Excel, so open up Excel or click on the file. As you can see, the file has all the information for each pixel, starting at the X and Y location of 0, 0, which would be the pixel in the very top left hand corner. This pixel's location is 0, 0, and its RGB values are 165, 172, and 188. The order of pixels goes across the X columns and then jumps from one Y row to the next. This is an example of a 5 by 6 picture. The X coordinate plane increases with the columns, increasing in number as one moves to the right, while the Y coordinate plane counts the rows that increase in number as one strays downward. There are 30 pixels in this picture. You can get the total number of pixels in a picture by multiplying the width times the height. Now that we have a basic understanding of pixel spreadsheet and pixels in general, we'll play around with it a little. Here's a fun example. For this trick, we are going to switch around the coordinates x and y so that the height will equal the width and vice versa. Now that we have made a change, save the CSV file under a different name. Once that is done, open up the pixel spreadsheet again, only this time we will submit an Excel file. On the right side, click the Load Sheet button, then click Spreadsheet to Image once you find the file. You should see a rotated version of your original picture, since the dimensions have been swapped. So, to recap, our new terms and concepts are CSV, or Comma Separated Values File, a file type that can store data that is normally separated by commas. On Windows, it can be open in Excel or Notepad. On pictures, the x-plane spans from left to right, and on the y-plane, it goes from the top to the bottom. The first pixel will always have a 0, 0, or for the x and y coordinate. Pictures are made up of pixels. On pictures, the x-coordinate plane acts as the columns that increase as they continue right. The y-coordinate plane acts as the rows. They increase as they go down a picture. Note the picture examples at the bottom. Each pixel has its own coordinate point on the X and Y plane. Each pixel is also made up of three values, which are red, green, and blue. These values are needed to see the complete color of that individual pixel. For example, if a pixel at 00, zero was completely white, the RGB values would be 255, 255, and 255. In computer science, Programmers start counting out the number zero because it tells them how many places or spaces they are from the starting point. And finally, if you need to download the program, go to mediacomputation.org. This is Tamara, and next time I will show you more tricks using Pixel Spreadsheet.